Welcome back, everybody. That's the camera. Look, everything's a little bit different. You like it? You, you, I mean, I also have a little bit of a longer beard. You might not like that, but look, I'm back to my old setup because I like this angle more. Um, I feel like I have more room and everything like that. But anyways, today we're going to finally use our tiny inventory system storage, hopefully. I uh, did a little bit of research, just a little teensy bit, just a tad. And I found out you need to create a inventory panel first because it's just like uh, applied en energistics, I think, where you interact with the panel and as you want to increase the amount of storage you have, you just go up the tree of the storage systems, which I'm fine with. It looks like the panel is going to be a little bit difficult for us to make. I know we can make the awareness upgrade. We've made one of these before. Uh, the fluid tank's easy. That's just some steel and whatnot. A pulsating crystal is also pretty easy. It's just using pulsating iron, which we can make out of uh, induction smelter. Yeah, I f do we have an induction smelter? I straight up forgot. I haven't played this in like two weeks. As you can tell, I've only been uploading once a week because your boy is going a heck of crazy dealing with a Hyundai in a car issue. I'll get to that when I have free time, though. Anyways, we will have to make an induction smelter then. But the problem then is that we have to make uh, some... Here, one second. We gotta make a soul binder as well. So we're gonna need a couple of these machine chassis, which needs an induction smelter anyways. But these also require more machine frames. So I'm gonna need, like... A lot more machine frames if I want this to work. <laughs> Sad face. <laughs> I know. Uh, I'm going to have to just continually make a craft ton of machine frames for the end of time. But that means that actually in this... Uh, actually, I'll change... Well, I'll change the title when we get there. We. Uh, that means that we'll probably go to the Twilight Forest again in the meantime and do some other things so you know stay tuned let's see what we'll get going so first of all let's set up the machine frames to go so we're gonna like make sure we have all the inventory stuff we need first is steel plates i need a lot of steel and i don't know how much steel i have because i'm not stealing it you know i'm just making it with my own two hands my grubby little nubs of fingers and oh Oh, we got four slots in here. That's pretty decent. Oh, three ingots there. Oh, oh, uh, <laughs> my inventory is just full of crap. You can tell I haven't done any preparation. That's the that's the point, though. That's what you're here to see. Now, I tested this out to test out the volume. I was like, what's a good thing to test out with? The compressor. Compressor is a good thing. Um, in order to make the plates, the, the dense plates, is it just nine? I believe it's a block, but you have to put nine ingots in, right? You can't just put in a, here it is, dense steel plate. Yeah, it's nine, oh, that's right, it's nine plates, which is 18 ingots. Ah, uh, uh, so that means I only can make two plates, I guess? So we'll also have to set up some steel for later, because if we don't, then we're just going to be screwed. So one, two, three, eight, nine, and one, two, three, three, four, five, nine, eighteen. Yep. Okay, cool. Put eighteen steel plates in there. That'll get that done, and then we can go back to machine frames. I need electrum gears, I believe. How many we got? We got zero in there, so I need electrum. How much electrum we got? Not much at all. How much gold ore do we have? Not much at all. What do we have in the smeltery? We've got four ingots of gold in here. And that's it. Okay, so we don't have much gold. Oh, what? oh fa! Ritz! You've brought the goods, I see. <laughs> Completely forgot that we did a whole entire run. Uh, okay, let's make a bunch of Electrum then. What do we need for Electrum? Let's just gold tin? Question mark? Silver? Silver. Gold and silver to a one-to-one -one ratio. So how much? We got one nether silver. 
We got a lot of diamonds, though. It's crazy how in modern Minecraft, diamonds are like nothing, you know? Uh, compared to all the other crap that you need, you're like, I don't have enough diamonds. Where are the diamonds? My homies say there's diamonds, but I don't see no diamonds. And then that's where the homies shoot you dead, because they're like, you fucking dumbass. No one talks like that. <laughs> Uh, I'm feeling pretty good, even though I've got, like, terrible news. So, while I- I'm gonna just do that in the background, so you know I'm doing it in the background, and I'll fill in the stuff with what's going on. So I don't think I went through the entire story of what's been going on with me. Uh, basically, about eight or nine months ago, I had a car issue, where my car was acting a little funny, and I was like, well... It shouldn't be acting like this. I, uh, so I call up the dealership. I'm like, hey, what's up, guys? Uh, I think I have an issue with my car. I'd like you to tow it. It's a lease, by the way. It's a 2021. It was brand spanking new when I got it. It was a lease. And I was like thinking it was going to be no problems. I'm like, here you go. And they got the, uh, you know, they, they towed it out there, and they're like, okay, they're inspecting it and whatnot. They're like, hey, you want us to do a free oil change? I'm like, sure, you do a free oil change. Why not? Seeing you're there, I already just did an oil change, like, two days ago, before I, I mean, like, the day I gave it to you. So I know it's not that, because I, I was on my stomach, hands and knees in the pouring rain, doing an oil change. But, you know, just do one anyways if it's free. I mean, why not, you know? And then uh, they called me about a week after that, which is a lot of time, you know. I'm kind of thinking, huh, that's like quite a while. But, you know, I have a spare car that my dad lent me for the time being, so I wasn't rushing it too bad, you know. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a pretty good guy when it comes to that type of stuff. And so uh, they call me back, and they're like, well, your car is, um, it needs a new engine. And I'm like, what? What do, you, what do you mean my brand new car needs a brand new a new engine? What? What do you... What do you... <laughs> you just... What? <laughs> and they explained to me that the engine seized. And I'm like, it was working when I gave it to you. What do you mean it seized? That sounds crazy. And we're not crazy, are we? And they're like, oh, uh, well, we'll do some more inspection on it then and come back to you. And they take another week, and then two weeks, and they call me back, and they're like, yeah, it's not working, you're gonna need a new engine. Warranty, also, they've contacted Hyundai for me, and they're not gonna cover it under warranty. And I'm like, of course they, they aren't. Uh, but I had a chance to fight the warranty claim, and so I tried fighting the warranty claim, and the guy's like, so I'm supposed to get a call from Hyundai basically to give my side of the story and just be like, okay, well, this is what happened. I'm like, you know, I didn't do anything wrong, so I don't understand how there is anything wrong, blah, 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 you know? And I'm, oh, we've got two remote awareness upgrades on us. Okay, well, we need to keep track of that. Let's try to remember that, okay? None of you are gonna leave comments or anything, so I gotta actually remember myself. Ah, okay, all right, we'll remember that. So I, uh, the guy calls me from Hyundai to like, you know, hear my side of the story and whatnot. And he's like, oh, wait, actually, you know what? I, uh, there's something going on with my computer. It's not really, you know, responding all that well. I'm, you know, I'm giving a gross summary because I'd be able to talk about this for literally hours. And I don't want to do that. So they, uh... They're like, I'll, I'll call you back um, later, and like uh, tomorrow? And I'm like, yeah, call me back. And I'm like, okay, cool. And I just, you know, go on with my day. I try to stay positive about it. I'm always super optimistic and whatnot. And then they eventually, they fucking, they, they don't call me back. What happens is I just get an email one day that says that they've denied my claim for warranty. Like, just like that. I never gave my my side of the story. I never got to do anything. They've just denied it. And I'm crushed. I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to repair this engine now? Are you kidding me? And I asked, how much would it be? And they're like, oh, about seven, eight thousand dollars a month. I don't have that kind of cash. 
Who do you think I am? I, I, I don't got that. And, you know, uh, so I, the, what you have to do after that is you have to go through what's called arbitration. The arbitration process is even worse, okay? When you decide to go through arbitration, what you're basically doing is that you are separating yourself and the company that you are having an issue with, okay? In my example, it was with Hyundai. So I had to get involved with arbitration process, which is a third party. Uh, it's actually run through the Better Business Bureau, which is a federal licensed company that you know deals with this type of stuff to stay a third party and they have to follow a lot of laws and regulation and stuff like that it's super like you know particular and everything like that and so i had some pretty good confidence i was like okay great i finally get to state my case it'll work out fine perfect right so i get through the arbitration all right we gotta focus for two seconds get the electric gears going okay um so i go i start the arbitration process and the first step through arbitration process is that you need to send hyundai a paper stating the lemon law in your country so specifically a lemon law is what happens it is a the a lemon law is basically it, uh, if your car is lemon so if you don't know what that means it's when your car has so many issues with it it's a lemon that's the terminology for it so if it's repeatedly breaks then it is unfixable aka a lemon or uh in the state of michigan where i live it also can be problems with the engine period it doesn't have to be uh, multiple attempts at fixing it if it's the engine specifically it's a little bit different so i was like okay well i have that case i then also described how incredibly unfair hyundai has been up to me to this point where they have not allowed me to give my side of the story they haven't you know it's obvious uh it's obvious that they're trying to just screw me out of it and that they are taking advantage of me because i'm a young kid and that i had no issues with this car i just had a little bit of a running issue i sent it in and oh by the way they said that i my engine failed and i needed a new engine because it was overfilled with oil and i was like well i just did an oil change but i know it was not overfilled with oil because i literally just handed it to them and it was working the car was working it was running so either they broke it or they're lying like i know i didn't put that uh, and then they come out and they're like well it was overfilled with 14 quarts of oil 14 quarts of oil and it is a very small uh you know it's very very small engine we find out later by the way that uh it is literally impossible to put 14 quarts of oil in that engine it you only can physically fit 10 quarts of oil in it so even if they even if i was lying it's physically impossible to put 14 quarts of oil in it and so i go through the arbitration process i send out that letter to hyundai and i'm like okay cool the next step through arbitration was i had to wait a couple more weeks so we're you know three four months haven't had my car at this point it's kind of ridiculous but i'm going through the process my hopes are high I have a scheduled arbitration hearing eventually. I then have to go to that hearing and set up that hearing. And I thought, okay, well, can I bring my dad on the hearing with me? Because I feel self-conscious and like th this is going to screw me some way. So I want to be safe and have someone that's educated and has gone through a lot of different court processes before. My dad's been in a lot of different legal um you know court cases and stuff he has experience with these types of things and so i'm like okay i just want my dad to be there just in case you know and they said that's fine so i was like okay fantastic that's great good so let's plan the arbitration hearing take the day off which also kind of sucks because i don't get overtime pay if i take a day off in the middle of the week which that's another thing, but whatever. I get my dad in and I have to help my dad because he's not, you know, 
inclined uh, when it comes to you know d devices. You know, the generation before my pa my parents' generations like just budding. My dad's like fifty six, so you know, uh, and that hearing was something. I don't know how much I can say about it, but it uh, was blazingly obvious to me that Hyundai was unwilling to give information. That they were trying their hardest to not give as much information as possible. They, it kind of came to them and they're like, okay, well, what is your case? And Hyundai's like, well, it's obvious that he just overfilled the engine. He's trying to not do this. And their reasoning, one of their reasons was like, well, you had a free oil change. Why didn't you use it? Why are you doing your own oil changes if you had a free one? And I'm like, well, I didn't know I had a free one. Like, it's not like you guys advertise and want people to get the free oil change. That's the whole point is you make money off of not doing that. So, yeah, I didn't even know I had a free oil change. Like, I think I get like two every year or two or three. And I'm like, I didn't, had no clue that I had one. And I was being more than, because uh, this was my brand new car. I planned on leasing it and then financing and owning it. I wanted to have this car forever. So I was taking extra, extra good care of it. Getting oil changes like every four, like, uh, I think I was getting oil changes every 2,000 miles. Because even though it was a brand spanking new car, just because I was like, well, I don't know, actually. I can't remember the exact amount. I was just getting, uh, I did like two, maybe three oil changes, counting the last one. And doing those oil changes, I was doing them because I'm like, hey, like, I want this car to last forever. I want this car to be here 100 years from now and work perfectly fine. So how I do that is I do multiple oil changes and you just do them yourself because it's cheap. Hey, look, two machine frames. You guys have probably been screaming at me like that, huh? <laughs> okay, let's make an induction smart thing. Let's, let's focus on that real quick. You'll, you'll have to, we'll come back to my car story because it, oh, just you wait. <laughs> just, that is, it's nowhere near the end. I, I've been, that's only like month three or four in and I have been without my car still eight or nine and I've been edged the entire time. It's hilarious. It's so funny. I, I'm laughing on the inside. Can you tell? But anyways, let's uh, focus back on Minecraft for a little while at least. And if I forget, just hit me up. Let's see here. We need to get these on the roll on the side, just in case, though. So we need golden chip sets, which is gold and redstone, which we don't actually have any in there. So we do actually need to get gold and redstone. Let's do a, what, eight of them for now? Let's just do eight then. Yeah. Because we don't have that much gold. Gold is actually quite... Uh, There we go. Oh, sorry. It's quite rare in these dark times. All right. So that's the golden chip. The fine circuit board is redstone and iron. We don't have much redstone. Where's, where's, um, Ritz? Ritz? Hello, buddy? There you are. You're hiding in the corner. It's okay, buddy. I understand. You're a little shy. You don't, you don't want to show off too much to the camera when I'm talking about legal stuff. Boring legal things. I'm just trying to help people, I guess, in the future. I, I think that, like, I never thought anything this bad would ever happen to me in a thousand years. And I constantly, like, I slightly believed in karma before all this, but I, I don't know if I can anymore. Like, it's so, this is literally, it's been so awful that I have, I, I don't know, man. I, I, you cannot tell me that, like, yeah, good things happen to good people. Because I've done nothing but good things, and, like, I, I feel like I'm being, it's... I gave the allegory to my coworker that it's like they give you a step to stand on and then they cut your feet off and they slowly keep cutting more off and adding more steps till eventually you get up on a step but you're only up to your torso crawling like uh, I guess I'm I, I'm still the same height though right guys that's how I feel right now that's that's the exactly the allegory that is going on in my life right now <laughs> we'll explain more in the next episode right now we'll focus on minecraft stuff uh i hopefully can make that panel this episode let's see here we've got 
What were we doing with the redstone again? Oh yeah, we were making the boy, these bad boys, which this one, two, three, and that's only twelve. That'll only make two, three, four. That'll only make four. So let's make uh, a bunch more than that. Let's see. Uh, nine. Four, nine, sixteen, twenty-two, twenty-one. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, and we need to bucket up the lava. I don't know. I thought we had running water in here somewhere. I think here it. I got it. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Look, I'll get it. I'll get it. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah, I got it. Oh. There we go. Come on. There we go. So, the infinite water didn't work because I put a certain block. What is this? The basalt here? So, I guess without that basalt there, then it would work? We can just move it somewhere else. It's... Oh, no, I'm stuck. That does. Oh no, we can't ourselves. <laughs> what if we just. That didn't necessarily help us, did it? <laughs> Alright, let's just. Ah, uh, man, I don't want to destroy any of these things. They're all needed. Fine, we'll just destroy the wire relay because it's not connected to anything, I guess. We'll just replace it down. Call it. Call it good. Okay. That's all good. We've set all that up. We've got the ingots in our hands. They're all sweaty. We're making Revine circuit boards, intricate circuit board. I'll just slap that in my bag of wonders and we'll create a bunch of refined circuit boards. Uh, it's taking a while to make golden chipsets. While that is going on, let's go check on the steel. Before I do that, Let's try to find as much iron as possible in our inventory here, because we'll probably need to fill it up with as much iron as we've got. Ritz, where are you, bud? I probably need to grab as much iron from you as possible. Let's see here. Seven gold, no diamond, aluminum, and coal. 25 nether iron ore. That is beautiful, Ritz. That is mwah, beautiful. And then we'll just put the iron at the bottom. I already got an ingot cast. That's perfect. Redstone block. And bam. Automatic iron, boys. And then it'll also get the electromagnet. Well, whatever. That can all be ingots. I don't give a shit. I'll just have... Hmm, I'll probably just have to run back up. Because this is not going to be done smelting by the time I'm done. Oh. Crushed copper. You cannot smelt in the smeltery. Interesting. You only can put it in a normal smeltery. Even more interesting. Indubitably. Hmm. Yes. Yes. Let's put the redstone ore in here. I'm sure I won't forget about it. And be like, oh, look at you. Looky, 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 looky. Hey, Ashley. How? Oh. No, I'm good. Thanks. Sorry. We didn't have people doing that. Do, 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 Okay. We've got five. Oh, no. Oh, we've actually got seven blocks of iron in here. Dope. Oh, the slag. There's a for sure way that we could easily... You know what? Do we have it in us? In us? <laughs> Do we have it in us? Uh, yes. By using transfer pipes and filters, I believe we can put slag and get a um, barrel of some sort and then just have all the slag go into a barrel because let's just do that real quick while we're running around that way we can make steel easy peasy lemon squeezy yellow polka dot bikini that's what you wore the first time today hey you guys remember that commercial i feel like i referenced that commercial a lot i don't know why i think that was like my favorite commercial as a child for some reason and i have zero clue why i liked it that much maybe i just liked the girl's bikini Maybe I'm just that sexist. Is that? <laughs> I'm not sexist, but maybe like you know, little boy, oh, full of hormones is. I don't know how it works. <laughs> uh, 
I think this is how we make barrels with planks and the uh, box. Let's find out. I can't remember. Barrel. Barrel. Basrel. Barrel. Barrel. There we go. That's how you spell it. Oh, you need wood. Oof. Or upgrade. Hmm. Do we have any? Oh, we've got ten of those. Do we have any chests? Chests? Show me. Oh, we have an item barrel in here. Never mind. Just kidding. <laughs> I love it when you stop playing for so long and you're like, ah, yes, the things I have. Hmm. Yes. I believe we need to make upgrades for each of these, though. I'll go grab some of the iron that we've got going. That'll be fine. There'll be something up here. And... Iron Peel. Because I think we have to go up the line, right? That's how this works. We got two gold. One, two. What's next? Gold. Diamond is one diamond. Oh no! What are we gonna do? One diamond! And next is infinite, which we don't need. <laughs> I think diamond is plenty. We probably are overkilling it a bit, even with gold. But, oh fuck, what? You just make them? Oh fuck. Oh wait, no, you have to, oh that's right. You, just, you still do have to go in order, but you have to use a blank upgrade every fucking time. Forgot. Forgot it. All right, uh, and we'll need a filter. Filter, there it is, item filter. It's made of sticks, redstone, and string. Sticks, redstone, trees. Oh, I don't have any of that. Uh, yeah. Kinda, yeah, it's, I'm not even being satirical. It's just kind of uh, string, 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 there's. I'm like, there has to be just string in a random chest around here. That's the type of thing that I've got far too much of. I feel like when you played normal Minecraft, string and whatnot wasn't something you had much as, as a kid and whatnot, but then you play this and you're like, oh boy, I've got a lot of string all of a sudden. I've got the world's largest amount of string. I should become a string salesman. That's what I should do. Yes, yes. Let's just say, fuck Minecraft and just... Make strings, yes. We'll sell strings on the open markets. Um, transfer node. Just looking for a normal transfer node. Ah, uh, here we go. We got a block of redstone or an ender pearl and a chest. Ender pearl or a block of redstone. What is? Oh, I have more redstone. That's fine. Yeah, let's just do redstone. I was gonna do the ender pearl for a second, but I'm like, actually, I don't have that much. Hey, I'm a Nico. Is that better? I'm sorry if I butchered the first part of your name for a second there. I pull with pronunciation sometimes. I look at mine. People always just go shadada like a baby, or they call me Shadow. But it's Shadada is from a messed up when I was a child misspelling Shadow on my own, being like, you know what? <laughs> That's funny. Let's just stick with that. I always like uh, everyone's like backstories of why they have the um, usernames they do. It's always kind of an interesting little thing. Okay, what's our last bit? Where is it? Where? Oh, uh, that's right. I went down a rabbit hole to find it in the first place. Oh, just tabbed out of my game on accident. Okay, there we go. Let's just need one block of these. And thank you. I need normal stone, don't I? That's kind of a problem. Oh, I got two. Perfect. Who needs it? Who needs anything else? Oh, I have one iron chest in here, too. I didn't know that. Do I have a normal? Oh, got a normal chest, too. Dope. It's like I am looking out for future me, you know what I'm saying? And future me says, that's pretty nice. All right. Okay. Woo! We've done it. Okay. Uh, Before we go, let's throw everything together. I believe we have everything we need. Other than, well, yeah, it's gonna make a bunch of building chipsets still. But at least you can now make the machine frame. At least one. So if it finishes the golden chipsets, it'll start making that machine frame, and we'll probably catch it way before that. My streaming's going all right, you know? It's pretty chill. What does that kind of mean, you know what I mean? 
never really understood the going like kind of like is your job going well is that like the vibe i feel you know or is it like you just having fun i am having fun that's 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 what it is is your life going well no i mean whose life is it's yes <laughs> <laughs> i love it though it's good thanks man ah what was i gonna do oh that's right it's doing this yeah dude thanks yeah i don't it's kind of shocking how many people uh offer to sell you art and stuff like that like no i'm good my girlfriend's got that covered if i need it it's hard being a budding artist though i get it it's pretty difficult art is one of those things that's definitely being ruined by like ai art and shenazzle oh it's gone backwards a doy let's put that back there we go perfect and uh I think I'll put the filter on it first, probably. Filter. And slag. Slag. Slag? Slag. Slag. How do you... How does one use the filter? <laughs> I just realized... Do you have to make a, tr a filter transfer pipe? I mean, I can just make one in my inventory, right? Transfer pipe filter? Oh. Does it just attach? Like... Interesting. Or is it like that? Huh. Let's find out. Let's, let's try, try it all. Okay. Filter. High priority. Slag. Okay, I have to make another filter? Is that what that means? No, I not in minimal in minimal prices. I mean come on. No, I'm good. Um I'll have to make another one. Okay, sticks. Do I have enough sticks and string? Oh, I, okay, I do. It's all down here. Good. Uh, just make three. We'll just hold on to a bunch of them. Like everything we have, we'll just find a bunch of it later on somewhere and be like, ah, oh, yes. There it is. Okay. But that doesn't... But what? I'm confused. Slag. Slag. Slag? Slag? Come on. <laughs> Why is nothing... No! Oh. Um, if I just put a pipe on it, will it, will it work? Okay, that doesn't work. I see. Okay, that would that would make sense. Now, if I just attach it to the wall, does that work? Eh? Oh, it doesn't even attach to it. Interesting. Plot thickens. What about? No, you can't just attach it to it, and it all becomes one block. Interesting. Okay, well, let's just try pumping it right in and see what happens. Anything? Eh? <laughs> eh? <laughs> I don't know. Ooh, come on. Uh, it's not going, is it? I have no idea how extra utility stuff works. This is the problem. A transfer filter. Is that like, do I have to like, oh, you didn't see that. Oh no, Ritz, why? <laughs> Ritz, no. Oh no, I gotta hammer it too now. Oh gee, do I have that on me? Yeah, I do. Okay, I accidentally threw my bag away. Do that. Okay, Ritz, thanks. Just take everything, why don't you? <laughs> it's shit. <laughs> Stop it. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Is it screwed up because of the Yaba barrel next to it? It's all confused now. Oh, that's not... Ooh, that's not good. Uh, well, hey, Joanna. Don't... You're, it's Joanna underscore art. Don't tell me you're going to sell me art. Uh, because that'd be hilarious. <laughs> oh, did it work now? Did I fix it? Heck yeah, we fixed it. Okay. What do I need? Cold coke, yeah. Okay, let's try this again. Ritz, you stay there looking pretty. Put the barrel here, the transfer node here, and if I put a pipe in it, pipe there, 
Now if I put the item filter in the center, maybe? It doesn't attach in any way, shape, or form, does it? I think it's a scam. I think it's all a scam, is what I'm saying. That's what I'm thinking. You know you used house wrong. Are you guys like bots now? This is crazy. Which stream has been getting going crazy? Who the hell? We got bots now. Why is this not... You know what I mean? Okay, well, I put the slag in it. So now when it makes slag, hopefully the slag goes in the slag. It probably won't. Um, but, you know, we can try our best, right? Let's just upgrade it and see how it's going. Okay, let's go. Got that. Whatever. Let's just keep it like that. Go upstairs and throw the steel in the compressor and call it good. Then we can focus on making the panels and stuff. How long have we been going? 36 minutes. Oh, geez, that's a long episode. Okay, well, that's catching up. Congratulations. It was great to see you all. And I will uh, hopefully hear from you soon. And leave a comment. What's your favorite holiday dish? I made some amazing ham for the world's best ham, I'm actually willing to say. So, yeah, come at me.